Hey guys, it's your boy Diamond. We're coming once again for this channel. Do you know that an average African is not addressing murder abuse? You know, but there are some certain factors, you know, that tend to trigger these actions. You know, when Africans are in diaspora, outside Africa, sometimes they are being tagged as being violent, you know. There are some certain things that occur that makes it look the way it is. Now, you know, like we are always told, you know, after God is government. Now, just like the deity we have in the African system, whereby you have to appease the gods, you know. There are so many occasions whereby you just, you know, someone in your lineage, we have to be involved with the deity of appeasing and all of that. And, you know, when you leave this deity desolate, they become aggressive, and then they, they start hunting, you know, these individuals whose lineage has abandoned, you know, this deity, and they're not appeasing them anymore. That is why you see in the Nigerian state, everyone wants to go for deliverance, you know, breaking foundational courses, breaking this, breaking that, with the claim that, you know, generational or family deities are angry and creating, you know, destroying their lives and all of that. The same way individuals are like these deities, when they are not appeased by the government, they become angry and abusive, and then they begin to do things they are not supposed to do, disrupting the peace of the state, disrupting the economy. Yeah, even if a state is well organized, there are crimes, but, you know, it get, goes to minimum. Because an average African mindset is not about to lead, but about to rule and secure the bag for himself and his generation. Do you know also that Europe would have been burnt down? Or rather, some developed nations would have been burnt down by its citizens if the government does not appease the people. Now, just like recently when uh, President Tinubu was outside of Nigeria, when he was saying, you know, Nigeria wants free things, you know, the more you need free things, the more expensive it is to develop. Now, when you travel to these countries, the UK, the US, and all of that, there are so many interventions that the government, you know, put in place to appease the consciousness of the people. Sometimes you think, oh, it's normal, it's nothing, but it's just a means to appease. Have you seen the inflation rates internationally, especially in Europe and elsewhere, and the high cost of living and all of that? You know, if the government does not intervene or had not intervened, the people would have taken the street and burned the whole country to the ground. That is why you see governments keep coming with interventions. You know, they keep coming with certain bonus, this, they call it all sorts of names, you know. Why? Just to provide for the low income earners. That way they don't take to the streets and start committing crime. It happens all the time. In Italy, it happens. The government comes periodically with bonuses to help the people stay balanced. It's just to appease their consciousness, to make them not become more aggressive. So when the African states, no one is even appeasing the consciousness of the people. Rather, they are telling the people to make sacrifices, be here with them. They are trying to do things in the right way. Pushing out, you know, these innovations or these measures to curtail, you know, the anger of the people. Yet, it doesn't get, you know, to them. And which is why the African system, Nigeria in particular, is supposed to, you know, seek for advice. And you will also want to ask questions. Where do these people also get the money they put for this intervention? Now, remember, government is not run by taxpayers' money. It is an illusion, you know, to keep you on track that, yes, the government owes you, you know, certain responsibilities. Because when you collect the taxes of individuals, it is not even enough, you know, to put the country in order and also to do these acts, you know, these palliatives and these measures to make the country stable. Which is why all countries, they print their own currency, depends on the economic factor. Now, the European Union also has its own measures that they've also put in place, you know, to cater for those that are in the European, the, under the European Union in particular. Whereas we have ECOWAS in Western Africa. I don't know the kind of meeting they do. They go for meeting periodically. It doesn't even have any impact collectively in their states or their member states. Citizens are deities that needs to be appeased, whether or not they have. Because for the sanity of any society, they just have to. Let's take Italy as an example. You know, they keep coming up with laws, rules, innovations, you know, palliatives, bonuses, just to cushion the effect of inflation. 
just to cushion the pains of families, you know, that are on the low income any church could. But do we have that in Nigeria? No. No database, no system to keep track, nothing of that nature. That is why you see Africa is still in distress up to now. No good schools, no good roads, no proper health care, nothing is working. And yet, you know, they keep giving you excuses as to why you know, things are happening the way they are happening. And yet, they keep traveling out of the country and seeing these things work. And yet, they keep telling you, oh, you shouldn't expect anything from me. You just have to make sacrifices and all of that. The government makes sacrifices for the people. The people does not make sacrifices for the government. Just the same way the African deity does not make sacrifice for the people. Rather, the people present sacrifice to the deity. The government is not the deity. The citizens are the deities. So the government has to make sacrifices, you know, to appease the consciousness of its deity, which are the citizens. But you see, they don't even care. That is why you see crime rate increasing. The young men they are supposed to cater for, you know, with all these measures. They end up fending for themselves in the wrong way. And yet, we blame them for being unruly in the society. The same way, when your family is juju, no one is appeasing them, they will come for you. You start running from church to church, you know, looking for who will help you, you know, burn and cast the demons in the family. The government is running head and scatter with its different security bodies to curtail, you know, these crimes. Knowing the root cause of it, yet doing little or nothing about it. And the ESCC, who is supposed to, you know, get a hold of these government officials that are robbing the commonwealth of the people, making them behaving, you know, like gods without owners, they are not doing anything. Rather, they, you know, collect whatever they can collect, just like the allegation that is, you know, ongoing about Bobrisky and the EFCC about the 50 million saga, you know. So it is evidential that when a government does not make sacrifices for the people, the people become violent, proactive, and aggressive. In Europe, everyone is smiling home. Just the last intervention the Italian government did for its citizens, everyone was smiling to the supermarkets to get groceries and stock their homes. Just the same way, another intervention is still coming for citizens that, you know, are in the threshold of the low income earners. It appeases their mind from thinking about doing something wrong. Though we also have wrongdoers and those who are doing things that are not constitutional, but is on the minimum compared to the African rating. So the African government needs to sit up, the Nigerian government needs to sit up and start appeasing to the consciousness of the people. If not, the destruction will only continue.